embarrassing, there'll never be no comparison, you're live on the show, sit back and have a listen. No intro, no music in this video. LDBC. This is Coach Sheldon Harrison. And guys, you know, I was asked, you know, about Sperm Monkey, and shout out to Sperm Monkey. He asked me, you know, Coach, what are your thoughts about, you know, what's been going on in Chicago? And this was a story that popped up. This young girl, she was at a Chicago hotel. She was at a party, and investigators, they found her body in a freezer. Now, you know, there are a lot of online detectives. Oh, there are a lot of online detectives, you know. And a lot of online detectives saying a lot of stupid stuff about what they think happened to this girl. A lot of online detectives. And, you know, if any of these people had any kind of awareness of the streets, if any of these people had any kind of awareness of the streets, they would know that it would take a complete fool to not understand what happened to this girl. It would take a complete fool to not understand who's to blame for this girl. See, there are parts of this story that the fools online, they just don't want to, they don't want to understand. And I'm going to break it down to y'all quickly, and I'm going to tell y'all quickly, and then I'm going to tell y'all some truth. First of all, this little girl, and she's 19, she's a little girl. She went to a party with her friends. They was chilling, drinking, probably smoking, getting high. Drinking, smoking, getting high, dudes. See, that's a combination right there for something bad to happen. Okay, now, as the investigators told it, as people, you know, they try to pass it off and think that we stupid, that this little girl, she got drunk or she got high, she staggered off, you know, down a hotel hall and just miraculously opened up a freezer door and went inside the freezer and went to sleep. Now, I don't know about y'all, okay, but if you've ever been intoxicated, if you've ever been drunk, you still kind of have some kind of awareness, okay, you have some. And the average drunk, I don't know. I can't see them opening up a freezer door, let alone going all the way down to a kitchen, making all, making that long walk. Guys, this doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any kind of realistic. I mean, if she was really, really that intoxicated, you mean she got to a freezer by herself? See, I'm sitting here and I'm sat back and I'm trying to understand this. Drunk people are not the most coordinated people. Drunk people don't have a lot of energy. Drunk people are not doing big things. And they're not moving around as much as you would like to think they are. Because they're drunk. Now you can say, but yeah, you know, maybe she didn't understand where she was at because she was drunk. Uh, you have some kind of awareness. You still can feel hot. You can feel cold. You can feel all of that if you're drunk. I mean, you don't think this girl was like, oh, it's cold. <laughs> you know... And it's like I sat back and I'm like, okay, y'all, y'all want to know what happened to this girl? This girl was raped and killed. This girl was raped and killed. And see, they thought that she was drunk enough. They thought this girl was drunk enough, okay, to where, you know, she wouldn't even un understand what was happening to her. Because this girl probably was really drunk. She was probably extremely drunk. This little girl got raped. And but when the girl really understood what was happening to her, they had to shut her up. And one of those guys that was in that room, and you can tell me, when Coach Tradamus tell you this, oh, it's a fact. One of those guys in that hotel room raped that girl and killed her. But see, I don't even want to talk about this girl's fate. But, you know, why isn't anybody talking about this girl's mom? You see, this, 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 this girl, she went to her mom, Mama, I'm going to a party, and it's 11.30 p.m. at night, and, and, and this girl says, Mama, I'm going to a party with my friends. You 19 years old, you living at home, Mama, I'm going to a party at 11.30 p.m. See, this girl, Mama, got a lot of contradictory stories, and, and I blame her for this. I blame her for letting this girl go. You let your 19-year-old daughter go to a party with three or three or four other idiot girls, okay? You let her go to a party with these idiot, deviant-ass girls, and you was okay with that. Now, don't come on here and say, Coach, you hard on her, because I understand a mother that is grieving. I understand, and I feel bad for this woman because she lost her child. 
But the fact is, you let your your 19-year-old daughter, who living at home with you in your house, you let this 19-year-old daughter go to a party with deviants. And you look at this individual right here with the shades. You know, uh, look like she came off an episode of the damn Terminator. You look at this individual right here. Does this look like somebody you would want your daughter hanging out with? And I don't know if they even knew each other. I, I don't know. But I do know that there's nothing good about this person. Nothing. And furthermore, me, me, coach, I'm not letting my 19-year-old daughter out of my sight at no party. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. They living under my roof. They're going to be in the house. When it's nightfall. See, that's the one thing about this whole story I get. I don't get it. And you can tell this is a young girl. Could you imagine? Could you imagine the fear that this girl had while she was being raped? Could you imagine? She would probably tell it, you know, probably tell an old dude, look here, man. No, I ain't trying to get down with you like that. I'm not trying to get down with you like that. No, that no, I don't want to do that with you. No. And the dude, you know, the little dusty, the little dusty idiot. He probably took that as, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What you mean you telling me no? Oh, you telling me no? I can tell you something. This girl just didn't walk into a freezer and go in there and die. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. And you know what else is kind of funny? I mean, what, what, what really else is funny about this is how nobody at the hotel really trying to be of a big help. And the police are being really, really hush-hush. See, I think they know exactly what happened to this girl. I think they know. Somebody at that hotel and somebody in a police station, somebody knows exactly what happened to this girl. But I can tell you that girl got raped. This was not this girl died of just being in a freezer too long and dying. No, nah, this girl was killed. But the mama, the mom, you know, we, 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 you let her go. And the mom contradicted herself. She said, you know, she don't stay out late. She don't really stay out late like that. But, but, but it's 1130. Then it's three something. It's three something. And then, and, and, and then you just checking in with your daughter. Wait a minute. Because I'm sitting here thinking if the party starts at 1130, how late do you think she's going to be out? See, something, it, it, no, no, this don't make sense. You see, you got to, you, you know, these parents got to be mom to these daughters. We got to stop being friends to these kids and start parenting these kids and telling these kids no. Now we lost somebody. Now, now, this, this, this young life. I don't care what you think of this girl. I don't care what she shouldn't have been drinking. No, 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 she's young. And young people, they go to parties. Young people, they smoke, they drink. That's what they do. When they're 18 and 19 years old. And don't say it's a cultural thing. Don't say it's a black thing. It's all kids. A lot of kids. When they're 18 and 19 years old. They go to parties where they're smoking and drinking. All kids. That's what kids do. But this mama. You trying to blame the police. For not figuring out what happened to your daughter. That you could have kept at home. I'm sorry. I know if this video sounded really harsh, okay? I, I know this video. But nobody has asked that question. Nobody. And the reason why I'm so emotional about this particular story, because just in August, and I'm telling y'all, just in August, last August, I had to bury an athlete. And that athlete was buried. Oh, she was buried. Because of parent negligence. You see, I'm so emotional about this story. Because I understand. Because I'm around young life all the time. All the time I'm around young life. I'm around it. But when a young life is snuffed out too fast. I don't care who child it is. I don't care what color they is. I don't care where they come from. I don't care what they did in the past. I don't care when a young life is snuffed out too soon. It's just something I can never stomach. It's something that I, I, I can never get a hold of. It, that don't work for me. 
they know what happened to this girl. And trust me, no matter how long you lock up the truth, you can throw that truth away. You can throw the truth away and throw away the key. You can do all of the above. But the fact of the matter is, the truth will come out. And hopefully they do a real thorough autopsy of this girl's body. I hope they do. I hope they just don't look at it as, as, as another black teenager that's dead because they're being stupid. I hope that that's not how they treat this. And I feel bad for this mom that's grieving. I feel bad. But letting this girl leave home at 1130 at night to go to a party. It was a costly and it was a deadly mistake. My condolences go out to this girl's family. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on?